Good morning, students. Welcome to our maths class. We were in the chapter multiples and factors. You know, exercise eight point six. All of you take out page number one hundred and seven. We will see about prime numbers and composite numbers. First of all, they said us to draw circles around the prime numbers. What are prime numbers? What are composite numbers? Those also we have to learn now. Once recall, because already we, it was there in the previous classes. Prime numbers are numbers which have only two factors. One is a factor for them, and uh, itself is also a factor. Suppose five is taken, five number five or digit five. That five is having. One into five, that means one is a factor and five is a factor. But you know, other tables that number five will not be possible. Any other table is not dividing this five. Yes or no? It can five can be divided by one and five only with zero as remainder. That's why one and five both are factors for the five. If any number is having only two factors, as I have informed for five, then such a number is called prime number. Then about composite number, if a number is having at least three factors, then such a number is called composite number. Suppose you take a eight. Eight is having more than three factors also. If at least three factors. If not more than three factors, then such a number is called as composite number. Suppose eight. Eight is possible in one table because one eight jar is eight. Again two table because two four jar is eight. Again fourth table four two jar is eight. Again eighth table eight one jar is eight. So four factors are there for eight. So if any number is having more than two factors, such a number is said to be Composite number. These definitions are available in the book also. We can recall, even write and learn. Should memorize that forever. Okay. Now we have to draw a circle called a circle for the prime numbers in the first question. Eleven. Eleven is having only two factors. One table, one eleven jar eleven. Again, eleventh table, eleven one jar eleven. Only two tables are possible called two factors. So eleven is a prime number. I have drawn a circle around it. Same way for thirteen. Fifteen we cannot draw a circle around it because one table is possible, three table is possible, five table is possible, fifteenth table is possible. Four factors are there, so we cannot draw a circle around it because that is not a prime number, but that is a composite number. Okay, which are prime only? We should draw a circle. They said. Again, seventeen having two factors only. Nineteen, twenty-three. These two are not prime numbers. We said already why those are not. Yes, sir. is it clear? Same way for second one. Prime numbers are to be circled. It is a prime number, prime number and prime number. Our left ones are not primes. Here, if any number is having two factors, that is a prime. More than two factors. If any number is having more than two factors, composite number. Okay, so here one is there. One is not having two different factors, as we have seen in the eleven. Eleven having two different factors. One is a factor. Eleven is a factor. One and eleven both are different. Different factors existed for eleven, for thirteen, like that. But for one, no different factors are existed. Only one is having one factor. That's why it is not in the group of prime numbers. That one is not in the group of composite numbers. That is neither a prime nor a composite. Simply one is a number. Is it clear? So we will come to know the blanks given in the same page one hundred and seven. Question two blanks. Dash is neither composite nor prime number. Just now I have spoken. One is neither composite number nor prime number. Dash is the smallest composite number. In the numbers, if you select which is the smallest composite, 
4 is the smallest composite. Before 4, 3, 2, 1, no, all those, those are not composite only, but 4 is the smallest composite number. What is composite? Already I have explained about composite number. Next, dash is the least prime number, <coughs> that means the smallest prime number. That is, a 2 is the smallest prime number. <coughs> because 2 is having two factors. 1 is a factor for 2. Again, 2 is also a factor for 2. So, 2 is the least prime number. Got some idea? Dash and dash are the prime numbers whose difference is 1. So, both prime numbers I have to select and their difference should be equal to 1. We have to get. Then, no, 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number I have selected. Their difference means 3 minus 2 gives you 1 only. As they have asked, we have shown. Am I correct, students? Let us go fifth bit in this page only. Fifth bit. Every prime number except dash is odd number. All the prime numbers are odd numbers only except one prime number. That is only two. Two is a prime number, but it is not odd number. It is an even number actually. Yes, two is also called prime number. Yes, that's why two is only the Prime and it is not odd number. But other prime numbers are odd numbers only. Okay. Sixth bit. Each prime number has exactly two factors. As we said in the beginning. Every prime number is having only two factors. That are one and the same number itself. One and itself. I hope things are clear for you. Page 108. There are three sums. Those are easy based on the same concept. Let us see. List all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. Between 1 and 100 means 1 cannot be taken, 100 cannot be taken. After the 1, before the 100, what are those numbers? In those numbers, which are prime numbers, should be listed here. You know, what are the prime numbers? So, those prime numbers we were listing here. List of all the prime numbers between 1 and 100 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, all the list I have written. All these numbers are having only two factors. One factor is 1 as the factor. Another is the same number itself. Suppose you take 2. 2 is having two factors. 1 and 2, that is 2 only. Suppose 5. 5 also having two factors. 1 no. Again, 5 only. Like that, all the numbers are having only two factors. That's why those are called prime numbers. Am I correct? Next, uh, fourth question, let us see. All the composite numbers between 50 and 60, they have asked. Between 50 and 60 means 50 cannot be taken, 60 cannot be taken. After the 50, again, before the 60, what we have numbers? In that list only, we have to identify the composite numbers. You know that composite numbers will have more than two factors for them. Yes or no? So, when I found them, I got 51, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57 and 58 only numbers are having more than two factors. These numbers are lie between 50 and 60 and are called composite numbers. That only they said us to write. Am I correct? Okay. Last one. Fifth question. Write two prime numbers. Their difference is three, they said. We need to write two prime numbers. That to how their difference must be equal to three. Such a way we have to select with the condition. That only. So two and five, both are two prime numbers whose difference is three. Because five minus two gives you three. As they have asked, the condition is satisfied. And the numbers what are taken called 5 and 2 are prime numbers. I hope things are very clear for you. With the other part of teaching, we will meet in the next teaching part. Okay, students, take care.